coward you are.
spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, I declare mine intent to search the depths of the Golden Order through understanding of the proper way. Our faith, our grace is increased. Those blissful early days of blind belief are long past. My comrades, why must ye falter? Fingers I served, once prophesied, a tarnished would one day become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Surely you see it too. The gold that enshrouds the heavens, the great tree which begets the pillars of light. Oh, tarnished, hasten to the foot of the tree. <sighs> and whatever you might face, the fingers will surely guide you. What are you looking at? Oh, you again, is he? Perfect bloody timing, actually. I got crab cooked up fresh. Mate, there's something I should probably tell you. You heard of the Dung Eater? He's a madman. Has it out for everyone. Curses him. Goes round in his rank armor and all. You see him, though. Stay well away. I was in the same jail as him once, so I know first hand. He's a god-forsaken monster. Not just some petty thug like me. He's a killer. Kills people. And curses the souls. Does all sorts of shit to the corpses. To keep them cursed forever. I ain't seen nothing more disgusting in all my years. I ain't ever been more scared neither. Rooted to the bloody spot. Molly did that to my friend.
What an idiot! My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent, and the power to turn runes into strength, here, with you. I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Bok the Seamster, at your service, my lord. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. My lord, did you see it? The... the Erd Tree? I... Oh, I don't really have the words for this. But I was so... so dazzled, I felt something stir in my breast. The Erd Tree is waiting for you, my lord. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. Oh, please, take the throne of Elden Lord. Oh, it's you. Don't pay me any mind, it's not important. Just lay out your arms. In that matters to you, for generations to come, I am the Dung Eater, a scourge upon the living. with care, just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed, along with their children and their children's children, for all time to come. Some more crap, dear. Yeah. And now I've seen it here again. Never thought I would. What he does to those bodies. It was. It was him. No question. That monster. He's lurking round here. A few moments later. Serves me right. 
Duke in bloody end. For a jumped up little shit with big ideas. Help me out. Would you make? I don't want to get cursed. Just let me die. I don't want to live like this. Not anymore. So, please. with the seed bed curse again and again until it is done until a cursed ring coalesces and my one day defile order itself countless I have killed and countless I have defiled and soon the fruits will be born hundreds will be reborn cursed and they'll bear thousands of cursed children who bear tens of thousands more a few of those will be born just like me. And they'll kill and defile and bless in my stead. The rotten fools. My fate was the grandest, most brilliant of them all. My corporeal flesh lies in the sewer jail beneath the capital. Give it your blessing. Defile my flesh with the seedbed curse until a curse ring coalesces that may one day defile order itself. Ah, yes. By way of apology, allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Lyurnia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Mikola of the Halig Tree, the Unalloyed, his twin, Melania, the undefeated swordswoman, Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala, and the one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her great rune, so here at the Hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost right known only to me. We both desire to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. As such, I hope we are compelled to work together. Oh, so that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself, eh? A fitting little squat for that deluded maniac to bleat about the revival of his precious dynasty. While he turns our fellow tarnished into bloody fingers, let him stay there. That way, his delusions will remain as they are, distant and unattainable. But perhaps it's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then maybe. Ah, my apologies. 
Lost myself for a moment there. The information you've shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. And it is a wondrous thing indeed. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Be on your guard, I beg you. He's back. The Dung Eater, again. I can hear them, the spirits as they howl and lament in fear of the curse. And worse than ever, the reverberations of the twisted malice in itself. But after all this time, I've started to grasp it now. I can hear, in the Malison, another fearsome order.
Ah. I had hoped you'd soon return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Take it. It's yours, by right. Let us tread the path of the recusant together, till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. you came. But we're fine now. Dialos fought the poacher, though quite a lot of us got broken. <laughs> I won't cry, though. I'm a warrior, Jar. A warrior. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. That's the kind of warrior I want to be one day, cuz. Even if I'm scared. I'll still fight to protect everyone. Ah. You. Uh, uh, the jars. Are they all right? <coughs> Did I defend them? Then all is well. This fool proved his worth in the end. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. That's the kind of warrior I'm going to be. One who protects everybody. your rhythms. I must be the one to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. Oh, was that you? Sorry, I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the Master ceased his movements. The Master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd Tree, while still a precise calculus. The rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the Master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The Master only has me. And here I fail him. <laughs> 